Ah, it's a, it's a it's an exciting day, at least for me personally. I know it's exciting for the guys in the locker room as well uh, to get back on the field and and play real football. Kind of talked about it yesterday uh, in regards to just the timing, the time that these guys will be on the field will change every day. Uh, throughout the season, I'll try to you know let you guys know how long practice will be. Today is 90 minutes. Uh, hopefully, we get some good work in. One thing I will say, it's a little different than when I played because the acclimation period. And I do think it's good as far as player safety is concerned. Um, you know, not just jumping right in the pads. And, and hopefully, you know, here in seven days, we'll be in full pads. So excited about that opportunity as well. Today, just another chance for these guys to display their athleticism and what they learn in the classroom. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it'll be about, yeah, seven days. I think it's seven days. Yeah. How is your love for the game grown, change as you transition from player to coach? I've always, I've always loved the game, you know, like, Either you love it or you don't. And to me, it's it's always a 10 out of 10. And, you know, as a coach, you just get another opportunity to help guys develop and become the players that they want to be. Because of the acclimation period, I think a lot of coaches around the league say tackling things has become more difficult. How do you get guys ready to tackle and callous their yeah. bodies for that when they can't do it as much as they used to? We'll do, we'll do some live tackling once we put the pads on. Um, in saying that, like in the games, you're going to get a lot of live action. So we'll be better tacklers at the end of the season than we were at the beginning. You guys have historically been a great tackling team. Yep. And I think you can go back to your, your playing days. But do you have to change much in that? I department? led the league in tackles, man. Do your yeah. research. <laughs> uh, in the drills, are you, in that specific area, are you tweaking anything there? As far as no, not really. Look, and, and once again, like we've done, we've done things at a high level for a long period of time. It's not like you have to change everything. Uh, I'm a huge believer in fundamentals, and tackling goes in that bucket. Historically, you guys have also started the red zone. Just today, tomorrow. No, so we'll start out in the field, uh, be early downs, and then we'll work our way to the red zone. So, yeah. nah, no, no concern at all. I mean, he's, he's on the active roster still. Uh, when he's ready to go, he'll be out here. This start time uh, the camp is a, little, sorry, is, is a little different, as we talked about. Are there any other changes we'll notice out here that you'll implement this year? Well, different? I think the first thing, you know, I know it's, it's small, but just the music during practice. And that helps the time go by as well, gets the guys excited, gets the guys pumped. And look, we're, it's all about competition, what I talked about. So you'll see more competitive periods uh, as, practice, as the uh, offseason can, continues to grow. I don't, so that, that's one of those prizes you give the guys, the offseason award winners, let those guys pick the music, and they love it. They love it. Well, yeah, we do. We'll get that list to you. Uh, Stacey, you good on that? Well, well wherever Stacey went. We'll, we'll get that list to you. What are you most excited about? What's your plan most excited about? I think that I think I'm most excited just about the excitement that the players show on a day-after-day -day basis. Like, they're coming in there with, with great energy and – uh, you know, look, as the season continues to progress, like we'll get better each and every week. And this is really the foundation right now during training camp that we put together. So uh, got a lot of players. And once again, those guys are excited to come out here and work and to compete. And that's my message I'm, I'm going to be preaching to them. Yeah, just, you know, look, those guys have been playing football since they were little kids. Uh, it's no different. You know, obviously the game's a little bit faster, but at the same time, it's football. It's football and go out there and have fun. And I, I stressed to them last night, look, make sure you're talking to the veteran players. They know what to expect. Do you intend for Antonio Gibson to be back out there when the season rolls around? Like how, how long oh, he'll, he'll be back out there relatively soon. I mean, it's more of a procedural thing that we had to go through. Um, but at the same time, when he's ready to go, he'll be out there. Yeah, you know, our defense our defense is so versatile. There are times where, like, look at a guy like Marte. Like, is Marte a safety? Is he a linebacker? Like, we don't know, but we'll see once we put the pads on. But that's a guy that uh, I'm excited to see out there in pads. Oh, it's pre-planned. Every rep is pre-planned uh, until we get into, like, the live action type of stuff where it's unscripted. But, look, he'll have his opportunities. Well, so will Joe. So, so will Zappi. And, obviously, Jacoby, uh, he's our starter at this point. So he'll have ample opportunity to go out there and prove himself. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. It's a, no, no, it's a day-by-day -day thing. And we meet every morning. We meet every night to kind of script that stuff out. 
Yeah, to me, look, I'm a floater. And, and once again, uh, it's about fundamentals. Like moving a body is moving a body, whether we're talking about an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman. Same thing, linebackers, you know, block destruction. Those those things carry over. It's all about fundamentals. Um, look, I'll probably spend most of my time on the defensive side, but at the same time, I'll definitely make my way over. <laughs> oh, we're going to keep that going. We're going to keep that going because penalties, turnovers, all, you know, all those things kill you. So they're going to take off. <laughs> what did today feel like for you waking up? Did it feel a little different here? Or what's it been like? You know what? It felt the same. It kind of felt the same. But now that I'm out here on the field, I feel the excitement kind of building up. That's why I just hit a Peloton, hit a Peloton ride just to kind of like bring it back down a little bit. Oh, that's tough. I'm going to go with uh, Olivia. Olivia, yeah, she's great. She's great. Yeah, I expect all these guys to participate. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. The most important thing is, is just to compete and to go out here and have fun. And winning is fun. So uh, it's all about competition and it's all about getting better each and every day. Look, Taekwon is one of those guys where, you know, physically he has all the tools. Obviously, we all know that he can run. Uh, now he just has to put it all together. And I feel very confident with our offensive coordinator and our receiver coaches uh, to get him to the point where he can make an impact for our team. You talked yesterday about the vineyard and just taking some time yep. off before. Obviously, that probably helps you get yourself ready for camp. Do you need anything or is there anything that you did to maybe better yourself, you know? Yeah. You know, I love to read. You know what I've been doing, though? I signed up for Masterclass, and that's a pretty good platform. Uh, and then Farnham Street. Like, Farnham Street, I don't know if you guys know about Farnham Street, but a lot of – yeah, Shane. Yeah, Shane. You know, that website has a lot of good uh, articles. Well, I, I'm a huge believer in that you can learn from people in different industries all the time. Like, I don't always have to learn from another football coach. I don't always have to learn from the military. It could be an elementary school teacher. There are principles that carry over to now adulthood and professional sports. Sorry, say it again. Uh, a little, a little bit as far as scheduling, but I would also say, like, this is a relationship business. As much as we want to think it's just about, you know, going on the field, doing what is said on the paper, it, it is a relationship business as well. And I always talk about, you know, you got, you have to show the players and coaches warmth, warmth before competence. And I think that's a huge piece. So when you talk about you know, how do you motivate people, how do you, be, you know, help people become disciplined players, the, all of those principles kind of show up in different industries. So. Um, well, I didn't sign, I signed up for the whole service, so they're all available. I just kind of click around, you know, so. Right now I'm on the storyteller. I'm on the, I think it was Michael Lewis, right? The guy, uh, so he's on there now, so I'm on that one, yeah. Good. Um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, I had a meeting with the coaches this morning. Like, it's your responsibility as a position coach to know your room better than anyone else. And, you know, they have the freedom if they see a guy struggling uh, to pull him out. I think that's important. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say any individual player yet. I, I, if you ask me this question next week, I, I'll let you know. So still kind of early. Thanks. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.